Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is... The one and only... It's true. But this is Mega Man X4, which is actually where the, the series starts to get fucking rad as fuck. Which it was is pretty good because it was, you know, rad as fuck to begin with. Are you saying it's totally radical? Yes. This came out in the 90s. Well, so, so far I'm not seeing anything other than... Oh, there we go. No, sorry. I woke up. <laughs> ah, so... yes. The Sultan robot and the, the Kaiser robot and the orbital <laughs> dildo cannon. So, there's actually, like, a strong Holy shit, who the hell is this game. yellow fat fuck? Eh, it was double. Well, of course it's fucking double. He's fucking a double-sized McDonald's down the grade. Jesus Christ, man. Well, it's fucking weight loss project, man. <laughs> so, this game actually, like I said, this game actually has a pretty significant backstory. Um, basically, after X3, uh, an organization was created called Repliforce, which was basically the military designed to take down Mavericks, but they're not especially good at their jobs. It's not helping very much. Um, especially so, with that yellow fat fuck. <laughs> the one is called Double. He probably ate his fucking predecessor. Yep, probably. But, uh, so the general and the colonel, I swear to god that's their literal names, are in charge of Repliforce. Um, you can kind of see it at her on the left here. Iris, the, the girl. Um, with the uh, yeah, on. that uh, the token horbot there, yes. <laughs> so, and this is actually important. Colonel and Iris are quote unquote brother and sister. Uh, scientists tried to create the ultimate fighting robot with uh, actual compassion and, and respect for living things, found out that those two values were incompatible, and split them into two robots. So, Colonel has absolute fighting prowess, and Iris is absolutely caring and loves everybody. So, you know, that's Well, good. like I said, four robots. The and the most, import most important thing about this game is that you have to choose who the main character is. And I can't fucking stand X's voice in this game, so we're going to play a Zero. <laughs> God, his voice is awful. Probably the same guy that did Sonic. No. Um, Chili Dogs. You remember that clip I showed you from Mega Man 8? Where he sat, where it was like a Mega Man was like a freaking girl voice. And they used the same voice actor for X in this game. Not that Zero's voice is any better, but at least he's cooler. Gee, I wonder who made Zero. I can't imagine who it could possibly be. Emergency, emergency, the voice there. acting in this is god awful. The same dream again. But it's okay because the gameplay is actually okay. Mavericks emerged at the point five six. Oh my god, I forgot how bad this. <laughs> Fucking god, Capcom, why do you suck at text? They've occupied Sky Lagoon. This looks like Repliforce is doing. Repliforce, okay, I'm on my way. Ready. All right, so this is zero. Oh wait, hold on. I need to do a thing. Let's just turn that off. Thank you better for the original games than it is for this one. So, Zero doesn't, or er, doesn't have a gun anymore. He just slashes and I technically do have a gun. I can't fire it right now, though. Get it later, I guess. But Zero is basically, fuck you, I have a sword. Go get fucked. It's awesome. Uh -huh. Wah! It's a dragon! C 
come on. Come on, you fucker. But yeah, this was the first game that was released on... Universally on the, uh, the PlayStation as opposed to the Super Nintendo or the Super Nintendo disk drive. So, as you can see, better graphics, voice acting, actual cutscenes. All right, he did. I, th I think technically you're supposed to run away from that dragon, but... Oh well, I killed him. Now, the one thing that's bad about this game is that... Uh, because it's a PlayStation game and the PlayStation had super limited memory, every level is broken up into two. Which super sucks. Breaks up the flow of the game a lot. Dragoon? You're with the 14th unit. Why? This doesn't look good, Zero. That Maverick took out the power. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have to do something! It's too late. I must escape now. You'd best do the same, Zero. Damn, if the Sky Lagoon falls, it'll be disastrous. There's no time. I'm going down. Run, 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 run. Oh. Yeah. The city's kind of fucked up. The carnage. It's horrible. Those mavericks what are carnage. There's uh, literally horrible. no carnage. Everything Probably is just died. burning. Well, yeah, there's carnage, though. There's supposed to be, you know, like, bodies, but they're all buried and burned. There's no yeah. actual carnage. But this game is rated uh, E for everyone, so they can't show blood. Yeah, but then, you say, oh no, all these lost lives. So, I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and by a couple of years I mean like six or seven, so I'm not as familiar with it as I am with X3 and X, or X1 through 3. <laughs> so I don't remember the boss order, especially for, excuse me, for Zero. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Iris, what are you doing here? Oh, no. The soft spot. <laughs> Are you okay? Zero, did you come to save me? Yes, hang on. A huge maverick appeared and stay here, Iris. I'll handle it. Is this really one of Repa forces? I don't have a moment to spare. I have to defeat him or else. They have a love triangle or the love thing going on, apparently. Oh, and all the bosses are now introduced with this. Warning. Warning. Yep. Hey, didn't I kick your ass already? He's got parents are gonna kick that not. Well, let me rectify that, shall we? To rectify it? Okay, sure, go ahead. <laughs> so the interesting thing about this particular trilogy of games, X4, X5, and X6, is that they all take place in a very condensed time frame. Like, when you start this game, X3 is a, a few years in the past and so on. But X5 happens basically two weeks after X4. And X6 happens, like, six months after X4, or X5. And it's, um, it's ma makes for some interesting things. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've come to save my sister, Iris. I only hope she's okay. She's fine, I just rescued her. Oh, thanks, Zero. I owe you one. Colonel, I have a question for you. Did your unit attack this place? What are you talking about? Repliforce came here for help. We weren't involved in the attack. They suspect you've become a maverick. What? Disarm and come with me to the HQ. I'm afraid I can't. Soldiers never drop their weapons, idiot. I won't do it, not even for you, Zero. Then you'll, they'll think you're a maverick. So be it. The Repliforce prefers war over dishonor and shame. Goodbye, Zero. Wait, Colonel, listen to me. Yeah, because one guy is too full of pride to say, hey, I'll answer your questions, basically gets an entire fucking military force branded as Reploids. Or, uh, Mavericks. So, you know, good, 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 good job on that, you 
fucking dumbass. That's, uh, that's cutting very close to reality, isn't it? <laughs> Little bit. Oh, look, one retard fucks it up for everyone else. We have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We you know, I have a slight fucking question. Way, yep. Remember, this Where the fuck's all the humans? Nor rebellion against our They're around. Creators. This is about our liberty yeah, that's a pretty much a lot of fucking robots all over the fucking place, so... And our yeah. Own survival. Together we will build our nation a sanctuary for all reploids. Our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah. yeah! I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! Some perfect fucking voice acting there. Say hi, say hi. <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? Oh, look. I guess I wonder who the fuck that can be. He's in shadow. How are you supposed to know that it's Sigma? Oh shit, I spilled the beans. Oh no, it's almost like his fucking <laughs> face was a goddamn mistake. Iris, what are you doing here? My brother Colonel started the coup. I know. Please don't fight against him. This must be some kind of mistake. They've occupied several cities already. As a hunter, I must stop them. Zero, I must go now. So yeah. Uh, so the missions are actually defined now, as opposed to just being like, hey, go kill this one robot. So, infiltrate enemy-occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it. That makes sense. The Repliforce ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. He's the one that knocked down Sky Lagoon. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ, or, you know, kill him. Repliforce decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard a land chaser. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Repliforce's supply route. We discovered a hidden snow base. Halt production of their new weapon. So, those are the jobs that we have to do. Basically, fight an army single-handedly and bring them to justice or destroy them because why not and uh next time on character select we'll get right to that because zero is that kind of badass so thank you very much for watching make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it uh and hedra i i'm i'm so sorry about the voice acting in this game so sorry uh, it be worse <laughs> no it'll get worse don't worry <laughs> no no, it's